Hello everyone, what's happening? So let's say you're new to Sessions Live and you got your first gig, that's said and done. It's all good. But now you want to step up your sound quality to get more hearts from your viewers. Stick around and I'll teach you how. So do you want to level up your audio quality whenever you're performing online? Or are you having a hard time setting up your audio software with OBS? Or to be more specific, do you want to use FL Studio with OBS so you can apply the vocal effects on your stream? So don't skip any part for I'll teach you how to set it up efficiently. So first off, you would need to have let's say Fruity Loops as your DAW and you want to set up the audio settings to voice meter. Now, voice meter, let's talk about that. You can download the voice meter banana for free. I'll include the link below, so don't worry. Next is, let's assume that you're using a computer with a good CPU and all, good for streaming. Me, myself, I'm using a Ryzen 7 2700. I have no complaints about it. Everything's all good with that. I have a Focusrite Studio 2i2 and um, I choose it as my hardware out. It's here. In A1, click on it. Select this. And as you notice, my voice just switched over to your left ear. So let's fix that. Go to Menu, go to System Settings, and then here on the patch, ASIO inputs to strips. It's set to stereo, it's one and two. So what you wanna do is just put this on one. There you go. So my voice should be back in the left and right channel. And let's say you wanna perform uh, while playing your guitar and uh, Focusrite does have two inputs on it. XLR for the mic and then you can put a jack for your guitar. You should put two on this in number two. And then just make sure that the in left and right is highlighted and two left and into right is highlighted. So it's like you're telling uh, voice meter to activate these channels. And for the buffer, it depends on how fast your computer is or how strong is your CPU is but um, for me I put it on one to wait everything is all good with that no delays whatsoever okay let's close this so that's with voice meter and don't be uh, challenged with what you can see here there, I mean there's a lot of knobs and uh, you can tweak a lot of them but you don't really need to do that you just need a middleman to connect your fruity loops to OBS and that is the job of the voice meter banana so let's minimize this don't close it now, going back to Fruity Loops, you would just need to set it up or select the voice meter, insert virtual ASIO, should be this one. And then sometimes your voice gets a little glitchy. Hello? Yep, yeah, it, it, it is a little glitchy. So if that happens, all you need to do is just click on the knobs here until it goes away. Just keep on clicking. Because sometimes if you click this, it will uh, be glitching. So it's basically the, the fix for that. And don't click on the auto close because if you switch uh, windows, the Fruity Loops will be inactive and the effects will not be applied. And we can just close this. All right. And uh, I have a, a template here when uh, that we use when uh, my girlfriend performs her stream in sessions and uh, we just toggle in the effects here I already prepared it a limiter EQ and a reverb three things that you just need to perform a uh, good quality sound whenever you're doing live and then let's go to OBS so with OBS you need to click on settings Go to audio, and then the desktop audio, you select the focus right or your uh, interface or what have you. You're not gonna be using speakers anyways because you'll be using a mic. So most likely you'll be on your headset. So you can just keep the volume down. The mic now should be the voice meter 
output because there's two of them aux output and then output just select the voice meter output and once that is selected you just need to hit on apply and then okay it's basically it so once you have done that you have bridged fruity loops to obs and i am assuming that uh you know how to set up the stream already of course um, from OBS to sessions, you should be able to set it up as a custom link and then put in the server and then the um, stream link. That should be all good. And if you will be covering songs, these are the songs that my girlfriend prepared already. Uh, you would just need to upload them uh, into an audio clip with Fruity Loop. So this is a guarantee or this is a hundred percent guarantee that there won't be any delay whenever you sing along with your song because sometimes or most of the times if you'll be opening a browser and then uh, go to YouTube and then sing along uh, from a, a video track or whatnot it will be delayed so on this approach where you would import the song directly to Fruity Loops and then put it in to the playlist you won't have any delays whatsoever and you can sing along to the music that you would want to or the playlist that you have already prepared all right basically that's all there is to it if you have any questions whatsoever uh, post a comment down below and if you like this tutorial Hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. So guys, go get them hearts. Go get them and you guys take care. Teeny out.